Kansas's Thomas Robinson is used to being the man of the house. Growing up in Washington, D.C., it was just him, his mother Lisa, and his sister Jayla, who was 12 years younger. It was definitely my mom and my sister. When Jayla came, I was definitely excited because that's my angel. That's my little baby. Hi, sweetie. Hi, boy. While his mom worked, Thomas babysat his sister. And if he was out playing basketball, he would sometimes drop Jayla with his grandparents. But when Thomas grew into a six foot ten college prospect, he chose Kansas, far away from his family. My mom was terrified of planes, terrified. And the change of her coming out of here, coming back out here to Kansas with me was kind of tough at the time. Early in his sophomore year, December of 2010, Thomas's mother called to say his grandmother died. Two weeks later, she called again with more bad news. His grandfather had passed away. I'm not even old with my grandmother yet. Far from over it. And I get the call that my grandfather passed. Now I'm mad. I was sad some days. I didn't want to do anything. He kept saying, I don't know how good my mom's doing. Because mom was experiencing some, some health issues. Eleven days later, the night before Kansas was to host Texas, Thomas's cell phone rang again. My little sister was on the phone, crying. She told me that my mom had passed. His mother had died of a brain aneurysm. In a span of 25 days, Thomas had lost three family members. It was probably as hard a night as I've had as a coach and he was just crying uncontrollably. And he looked at me and said, Coach, you don't understand. I don't have anybody. All I have is my sister. That was my whole reason for breathing. And I just felt like somebody took it from me for no reason. I was up the whole night, and I just woke up with a whole different type of motivation. I wanted to get back on the floor. That was my escape. I showed up to the shoot around. And I told him I wanted to play. Thomas Robinson's mom, Lisa, died last night. It is hard to imagine the grief in his heart. I look around. Grown men, ladies, kids, students, little ones. I mean, just tears. Later that week, the entire Jayhawk team flew to Washington, D.C. for the funeral in support of Thomas and his sister. There were a lot of reports out there. Jayla doesn't have anywhere to go. She's going to be orphaned. Thomas wanted to bring Jayla back to Kansas with him. But her father, James Paris, who was not Thomas's father, had just been released from prison after serving four years on drug charges and requested custody of Jayla. That's almost a lot of mixed feelings about him, too, you know, but, you know, he loves his daughter, and she loves him, so that's also something that I thought about, you know, as far as me wanting to take my little sister right now. You know, I can't do that because, you know, she just lost a lot. It's not the best timing for it. Being away from her at the time is, is a sacrifice that I have to make. So one week after his mother's death, Thomas left his sister in D.C. with James and returned for a home game against Kansas State. From that point on, my whole purpose for playing basketball is different. He was playing for much more than himself. He was playing for his sister. Robinson again! Oh, oh, he's feeling good now. And Robinson shot. If he wants to take care of Jayla, then... Every day, he's got to wake up thinking, I'm the man. Can he do it? <laughs> I know he can. I watched him do it. I witnessed him become a kid to a young man right in front of my own eyes. Thomas finished the year as Kansas's sixth man. This season, he's become Kansas's leading scorer and rebounder, Kansas's man of the house. Hoping again he will be Jayla. Happy kid. What you doing? I'm at this game. You playing a game tonight? I talk to her every day. At the end of it is, I love you. When are you coming home? I made my mind up that my little sister won't have to worry about anything.
that grew up my whole life wanting to be a, an NBA player. And once I handle my, my business, you know, I, I will have her by my side. I would never say he needs to leave, but I hope Thomas is able to leave. I hope this is his last year at the University of Kansas. <laughs> I just felt like I can't, like I can't stop. Everything I do every morning, still for her, still for my sister, nothing's gonna change.